In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a Google Classroom tutorial for beginners. If you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Let's begin by accessing Google Classroom. To start, open your preferred web browser and go to the Google Classroom homepage. If you haven't used Google Classroom before, you'll recognize it by its clean and intuitive interface, which is designed to make managing classes simple and straightforward. Once you're on the homepage, the next step is to sign into your account. Look to the top right corner of the page and you'll spot the sign in button. Click on it and you'll be prompted to enter your Google account credentials. If you're a student, make sure you're using the email address provided by your school to ensure you have access to all your classes and materials. After successfully logging in, you'll be greeted by the Home tab, which serves as your central dashboard. This is where you'll find an overview of all your activities, upcoming assignments, and important announcements. The Home tab is designed to give you a snapshot of what's happening in your classes, helping you stay organized and on top of your work. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with this area as it will be the first place you check whenever you log into Google Classroom. At the top of the Home tab, you'll notice the main menu. This menu is a powerful feature that allows you to toggle your side panel, giving you quick access to various sections of Google Classroom. The side panel is where you'll navigate between different tabs and tools that Google Classroom offers. Understanding how to use this menu effectively will enhance your overall experience, making it easier to switch between classes and access different features without any hassle. One of the key features available through the main menu is the calendar. By clicking on the calendar you can view your schedule and see all your classes laid out in a monthly format. This is incredibly useful for keeping track of deadlines, upcoming exams, and scheduled classes. The calendar helps you visualize your month ahead, ensuring you never miss an important date. You can also sync this calendar with your personal calendar app, allowing you to manage your time more efficiently across different platforms. Next, let's explore the teaching section within Google Classroom. By clicking on teaching, you gain access to your scheduled teaching classes and a variety of files, including assignments and projects. This section is the hub for all the resources you need to manage your classes effectively. Whether you're preparing a new assignment or reviewing student submissions, the teaching section provides all the tools you need in one convenient location. Here, organization is key and Google Classroom makes it easy to keep everything sorted and accessible. Within the teaching section, you'll find two important tabs, to review and reviewed. The To Review tab gives you an overview of your files that are pending review, allowing you to prioritize which assignments need your attention first. This is especially helpful when dealing with a large number of submissions as it helps you manage your time and workload more effectively. On the other hand, the Reviewed tab lets you see all the work you've already evaluated, providing a clear record of your feedback and grades. This feature ensures that you can easily refer back to past assignments and maintain consistency in your grading. Now let's dive deeper into your classes. By clicking on your specific class, you'll be taken to a detailed view of everything related to that particular course. This is where you'll find all the essential information and tools needed to manage and participate in your class. In this detailed view, you'll see several tabs, including stream, classwork, people, and grades. Each of these tabs serves a unique purpose, helping you organize your class content, communicate with students or teachers, and keep track of performance, Starting with the Stream tab, this is where you'll find the most recent announcements, upcoming work, reminders, and the class banner. The Stream acts as a communication hub, allowing teachers to post updates and share important information with students. It's also a place where students can interact by posting comments or questions, fostering a collaborative learning environment. The Stream ensures that everyone stays informed and engaged with the class activities. Moving on to the Classwork tab, this is where the bulk of your assignments and projects are managed. In this section, you can easily create new assignments, upload resources, and organize them by topic or unit. The Classwork tab is designed to keep all your educational materials in one place, making it easy for students to find and complete their work. For teachers, this means streamlined assignment creation and distribution, while students benefit from a clear and organized layout that helps them keep track of their tasks. The People tab is another crucial part of Google Classroom. Here you can invite, manage and view all the students and teachers involved in your class. This tab provides a comprehensive list of everyone participating, allowing for easy communication and collaboration. Teachers can add new students or co-teachers, ensuring that everyone who needs access to the class has it. For students, the People tab offers a quick way to see who else is in the class, facilitating group work and peer support. Grades are managed through the Grades tab, where you can view and track the performance of each student. This section allows you to enter and update grades for assignments, providing a transparent and accessible grading system. 
The Grades tab not only helps teachers keep track of student progress, but also allows students to monitor their own performance, encouraging self-assessment and improvement. At the top right corner of your class view, you'll find additional tools such as the calendar, drive and settings. The calendar integration allows for seamless synchronization of class schedules and deadlines, ensuring that all important dates are easily accessible. The Drive link provides quick access to any files or resources stored in Google Drive, making it simple to find and use documents related to your class. The settings option offers various customization and management tools, giving you control over how your class is organized and functions. Customizing your class is an essential part of creating a productive learning environment. Through the settings menu you can adjust various aspects of your class, such as class name, section, subject and room. You can also manage permissions, control who can post on the stream, and set up other preferences that tailor the classroom experience to your specific needs. This level of customization ensures that your class is organized in a way that best supports your teaching style and student engagement. In the stream tab you'll notice the class code which is a unique identifier for your class. This code is useful for inviting new students or teachers to join the class. Additionally, the stream displays upcoming work and reminders, helping everyone stay on track with their assignments and deadlines. The class banner you see at the top serves as a visual identifier, making your class easily recognisable among others. The classwork tab is where you can manage all your assignments. Creating a new assignment is straightforward, so simply click on the create button, Choose the type of assignment you want to create and fill in the necessary details. You can attach files, add links, set due dates and even include instructions to guide your students. This feature not only streamlines the assignment distribution process but also enhances the clarity and organisation of your class materials. In the People tab, managing your class members is a breeze. You can invite new students by sending them an invitation link or manually adding them using their email addresses. Additionally, you can assign roles such as adding co-teachers who can help manage the class alongside you. This collaborative feature ensures that managing larger classes or multiple sections remains efficient and effective. The Grades tab offers a comprehensive view of student performance. Here, you can enter grades for each assignment, providing immediate feedback to students. The grading interface is user-friendly, allowing you to quickly navigate between different assignments and update scores as needed. This real-time grading system helps maintain transparency and keeps students informed about their progress throughout the course. Switching gears to the student perspective, let's explore the Enrolled tab. As a student, the Enrolled tab allows you to view all the classes you're currently enrolled in. This organized list ensures that you can easily access each of your courses without confusion. Within this tab, you'll find the To-Do section, which categorizes your tasks into Assigned, Missing and Done. This categorization helps you prioritize your work, ensuring that you stay on top of your assignments and manage your time effectively. In the To Do tab, the Assigned section lists all the tasks that have been given to you but are not yet completed. This is where you can see what needs to be done next and plan your study schedule accordingly. The Missing section highlights any assignments that you may have overlooked or not yet started, reminding you to catch up on your work. Lastly, the Done section showcases all the tasks you've completed, giving you a sense of accomplishment and a clear record of your achievements. When you click on one of your enrolled classes, you'll gain access to the stream, classwork and people tabs specific to that class. This allows you to engage with class updates, access assignments and resources, and interact with your classmates and teachers. The seamless navigation between these sections ensures that you have all the tools you need to succeed in your courses right at your fingertips. Below your enrolled classes, you'll find your archived classes. This feature allows you to manage classes that you are no longer actively participating in. Whether you need to move, copy, restore or delete an archived class, the archived classes section provides the necessary controls to manage your course history. This is particularly useful for maintaining a clean and organized dashboard, ensuring that only your current and relevant classes are prominently displayed. Configuring your settings is an important step to personalize your experience on Google Classroom. By clicking on the settings option at the bottom of the main menu, you can adjust your classroom notifications and account settings. This includes how and when you receive updates about assignments, comments and other activities. Tailoring these settings helps you stay informed without feeling overwhelmed by constant notifications, allowing you to focus on your studies or teaching responsibilities effectively. At the top right corner of the Google Classroom interface, you'll find your profile photo. Clicking on it gives you access to manage your Google account. From here, you can update your personal information, change your password, and adjust other account-related settings. 
This centralized access ensures that you have full control over your account security and personalization, keeping your information up to date and secure. Next to your profile photo, you'll see the Google Apps menu toggle. This menu provides quick access to a wide range of Google services such as Google Drive, Gmail, Google Calendar and more. The Apps menu is a powerful feature that allows you to switch between different Google tools without leaving Google Classroom. This integration streamlines your workflow making it easier to use multiple Google services in conjunction with your Classroom activities. At the bottom right of the Google Classroom interface you'll notice a question mark icon. This icon represents the support feature, providing access to help and resources if you encounter any issues or have questions about using Google Classroom. Whether you need troubleshooting assistance or want to learn more about specific features, the support option offers valuable guidance to ensure your experience remains smooth and productive. Throughout this tutorial, we've covered the essential aspects of Google Classroom, from signing in and navigating the dashboard to managing classes, assignments and settings. By understanding and utilising these features, you can create a more organised and efficient educational environment, whether you're teaching or learning. Google Classroom's intuitive design and robust tools make it an invaluable resource for enhancing the educational experience in 2000. 25 and beyond. Remember, the key to mastering Google Classroom is to explore and practice using its various features. Don't hesitate to experiment with different settings and tools to find what works best for you and your students. As you become more comfortable with the platform, you'll discover even more ways to leverage its capabilities to support your teaching or learning goals. Thank you for joining us in this detailed Google Classroom tutorial for beginners, full 2025 guide. We hope this guide has provided you with the knowledge and confidence to navigate Google Classroom effectively. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more comprehensive tutorials and educational guides. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll be happy to help. Until next time, happy teaching and learning with Google Classroom.